Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrator. In this lecture, we are going to solve one problem on concrete structures which uh, came in gate 2018. So, uh, this is the question number 5 of uh, paper set 1 actually in the civil engineering section. So, let us read the question first. So, the question number 5 says a steel column of uh, ISM ISHB 350 at 72.4 kg per meter. So, this is the weight of the uh, steel B, uh, column is subjected to a factored axial compressive load of 2000 kN. So, this is one important thing that we need to actually uh, keep in mind the, the load on the column is 2000 kN. So, the load is transferred to a concrete pedestal of grade M20. This is another information which is required through a square base plate okay so this is also another uh, hint that we will be using so first thing is 2000 kilometer uh, load m20 grade and square base plate consider bearing strength of concrete as 0.45 fck fck is nothing but the characteristic strength of concrete using limited method and neglecting self weight of base plate and steel column the length of a side of base plate to be provided is there are four options so, here when it says that uh, neglecting self weight of base plate and steel column, the length of base plate you need to find out. So, in this case, this information which is uh, ISHB 350 at 72.4 kg per meter has nothing to do actually in our uh, uh, solution. Okay, so this particular information is not required for us because we do not have to find the, you can say, uh, uh, weight of the column so we just have to concentrate on the load which is given and the grade of concrete okay so let's jump into the problem and let us solve it so first of all uh, what we need to understand that here we have a uh, steel column obviously it is a i section ishb right and we have a base plate on uh, below this So, through this base plate, the load will be transferred to the concrete pedestal which is there at the bottom. Okay, through this base plate, the concrete, uh, sorry, uh, the, the load will be transferred to the concrete pedestal. And what is the load? The load given is 2000 kilonewton. Right. So, so, what are the information given? It is given that P is equal to 2000 kilonewton. Okay. And uh, uh, it has given that uh, uh, grade of concrete FCK is equal to 20 newton per mm square, right? Or MP. Okay. Because M20 grade, correct? Another information that the characteristic, uh, sorry, the bearing strength of concrete. So, this is what actually we need to uh, understand this information that bearing strength of concrete is nothing but how much compressive stress the concrete surface can take the concrete surface can take so here when we will be applying the 2000 kilometer load through this base plate it will be distributing right so at this contact area of base plate at this contact area of base plate and uh, sorry at the contact area of base plate and concrete the stress which is limited so at the contact area stress shall be less than or equal to 0 0.45 fck so this is what actually it means the bearing strength of concrete so that means how much compressive strength, uh, stress, I should say compressive, how much compressive stress the concrete can take. So now this is a very easy thing. It's like uh, if you see that how we'll be solving it. First of all, we need to find out how much compressive stress the concrete surface can take. So it is 0 0.45 FCK. Okay, I would say this is my bearing, concrete bearing okay concrete bearing capacity let me just 
correct it properly it is nothing but concrete bearing capacity which is equal to 0 0.45 fck is equal to 0 0.45 multiplied by uh, 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 how much 20 sorry so it is 20 so how much is it let me solve it 0 0.45 multiplied by 20 so it is 9 newton per mm square so now what we need to find now we need to find out what is the area required so that we can distribute the load such that that we are getting uh, a, a stress which is less than or equal to 9 newton per mm square okay so basically uh, we what we know the stress is equal to or you can say uh, uh, load force by area so we know stress equal to force by area right but now we need the area of the base plate right so area is equal to area is equal to so we can easily say it is force by stress now we need to find out the area corresponding to the stress which is 9 newton per mm square so you can easily write it here that it is equal to force is nothing but my 2000 kilo newton so 2000 into 10 cube okay 10 cube to convert it in newton and stress we have in 9 newton per mm square okay so newton newton will be cancelled it will be in mm square so let us uh, do it how much we will be getting 2000 multiplied by 10 cube divided by 9 equal to something around 2 2 let me let me see how much we are getting 2 2 2.2 mm square so this is the required area of base plate okay uh, required area of base plate so that we can distribute it distribute the force such that that we can get the uh, uh, 9 newton per mm square stress at the base of the uh, you can say uh, uh, the contact of the base plate and uh, concrete surface so in that case the concrete surface will not fail under compressive stress okay so now as it says that it is a if you see it says it is a square base plate so we just have to find one length so just have to uh, i can say I, was, I should say length of base plate length of base plate is equal to square root of area which is 2 to 2 point sorry point 2 so it will be in mm so how much we will get so let us just do square root of the answer so we'll get 471.4 471.4 mm so if we convert it into centimeters so it will be uh, around 47.14 centimeter correct so now what is the uh, you can say uh, uh, options are given so you can say 39 42 45 48 so we got answer you can say 47 centimeter and we know that it should not be less than 47 centimeter because in that case the stress will be more than 9 newton per mm square so the answer will be this one which is 48 centimeter so if you just see the answer key of gate uh, 2018 uh, civil engineering section of set one so you can see here in the answer key uh, question number five mcq c the option is d okay so that means what we have found out this option d is correct so i hope it is clear it is a very simple thing actually you do not have to elaborate this much okay you just have to do it very quickly but to make you understand the conceptual thing i have explained it so uh, this is it so in our uh, next lecture we will come up with another uh, gate question on concrete structures and we will try to solve it thank you see you in the next lecture